Tonight I'm going to make some turkey pot pie. There's leftovers from Thanksgiving, so what better way than to make turkey pot pie. And the recipe calls for six tablespoons of butter. The butter is a lipid and at room temperature it's a solid. It's a saturated fat that consists of triglycerides with no double bonds in the fatty acid chain. And we need to melt the butter over medium low heat and with the garlic cloves. And um, we don't want it to reach its smoke point at 350 degrees Fahrenheit because we don't want to burn or the burnt chemical flavors within the pot pie. We want it just nice, creamy, and warm on a cold night. And um, the recipe also calls for six tablespoons of um, flour. I'm going to use all purpose flour for this because uh, the protein content is between 10 and 12 uh, percent and using the AP or the all-purpose flour is just um, it's in between the cake flour and the, the bread flour because we don't want it too doughy we just want enough to thicken up the sauce and so it's going to be our thickening agent and what's going to happen is the gluten's going to form with the gliadin and the glutenin once there's the, the moisture added into um, into the sauce. Um, there's also going to be a cup of uh, milk or heavy cream. I'm going to use milk because that's what we have. And milk is just going to be an added protein into the sauce, make it a little bit richer, a little bit creamier. And um, then we're going to also season it with salt and pepper. Um, the salt will add absorb any added moisture, but mostly it's added just for taste in this case. Then the recipe also calls for a pound of veggies. So this one has some lima beans, green beans, carrots, and corn, but um, it also asks for some onions, so I'm going to use the knife skills that we learned and cut up the onion here and I'm going to use the chef's knife to do that and I will also use the chef's knives to uh, cut up some of the white turkey that we have here. The turkey was smoked and brined so it's really good. And I forgot to say this before but the garlic cloves are going to be added for a sweetness to balance out and take some of the spiciness that may be from the turkey because the turkey has a rub on it like Cajun rub so it's a little bit spicy but once the skin's off, you can't really taste a whole lot of that, um, but it'll add some of the sweetness to it. And we've got here some turkey stock that I've had thawing out from um, when we made turkey. And that's just an added flavor to the, um, to the sauce that will be added for the pot pie. Um, you can make it by boiling the the um, carcass of the, the bird, chicken or turkey, and um, it'll absorb all the nutrients with water, so it has water in it. And the recipe calls for two cups, so there's about a cup in each of these. And one recipe had called for uh, using Pillsbury pie crust, but because I'm going to do individual ones that are about this size, I thought of using just the crescent rolls here on the top and then um, baking that and the recipe for that part, the other recipe that calls for the crescent rolls says to put an egg wash glaze on it and that's going to um, be the Maillard reaction so it will be a nice brown as what you get when you would go to say Bob Evans and have a crispy uh, pot pie crust. Um, and it will add richness and flavor as well to the um, pot pie. I'm going to cut straight across here. So as you can see now, I've diced up the onion not really fine. I'm just going to take a chunk at a time and just cut across, again making sure I'm not cutting my fingers, using my thumb as a guide. So 
So right now I'm about to melt the butter and uh, um, with the garlic cloves. I also forgot to say that it was two garlic cloves that was needed for the recipe. And I've let the butter sit out for about a half hour so it's already kind of softened and it says to put it on medium low heat so that's what I'm doing right now. You can kind of see it start. We don't want it to reach 350 because we don't want it to burn. Most of this has melted. I'm going to turn down the heat and add in the flour. And again, it's six tablespoons of flour, so I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna add it slowly. So I've added in the chick or the turkey broth already, and this is what it looks like right now. I'm stirring it, making sure that there's no clumps with the flour. Um, it's just about ready for the um, milk to be added. Again, it's only one cup of milk, so I'm just going to go ahead and slowly pour it in. Right now I've got it on a medium to low heat, right in between. Now I'm going to let it simmer for a little bit on a medium to low heat in the bag of veggies slowly. I'd rather get more turkey in there. So next I'm going to uh, convect the oven for 375 degrees. So I got all four dishes here. Um, I sprayed them with Pam so the, the um, pot pie won't stick to it and it'll be easier to clean up and I'm just going to slowly dish this out kind of heavy. I forgot to include when I was making this and I was putting in all the other ingredients. I did add the onions into it so the onions are already in here as well. I ended up having a little bit more than I thought so I made a little one here. I'm unrolling the crescent rolls. I'm just using the original. The oven is already set at 375 degrees. I'm going to stretch it just a little bit and lay it right over the top of it. Um, just like so. And what I'm going to do is I have a egg wash here. It's just one egg with a tablespoon of water. What's going to happen is the sugars from the dough and the crescent roll will um, bind to the proteins in the egg and give it the golden brown pigment. 